So, this is a video I've wanted to do for literally years. This has just been an idea in my head. And it's a, a two-part thing. The first part we're going to do is the Morio gang versus Adachi. And then the second part is going to be the uh, the investigation team versus Kira. So we're going to do Morio gang versus Adachi first. For uh, the sake of argument and just to make it so that way it's not uh, ambiguous who's part, who isn't, isn't part of the Morio gang... Adachi is just the one who... Adachi's transferred out to Morio instead of, like, the Duan gang taking a trip to Inaba. Yeah, that makes things way more complicated. If it's like, okay, they're all in Inaba, so it's just simple to, like, swap the villains around. Yeah. yeah. Would there be less stand users in Morio because, uh, there's no, uh, Grandpa Photo Man? Uh, there'd be man? four less. All right, but four. for the most part, most of the stand users come from Keicho. Okay. Yeah, pretty much anybody who I think is going to matter in this comes from Keicho or, like, before his rampage. Well, without the... without Yuya, or without Old Man, we don't get Yuya. That's true. <clears throat> so yeah. he's out. Yeah. Uh, we don't get Teranosuke, we don't get the, the shitty back demon that I can't remember the name of. No Cheap Trick. Right, cheap Trick. Yeah, Cheap Trick. His and user's name is Masazo. Masazo. Some would argue that we don't get Mikitaka, but I think he was a stand user prior to the events. I thought it was an alien. I mean, we don't know. There's, there's never a confirm. There's no, there's no confirmed statement on that. But he does get stabbed in the neck with a stand arrow, and he passes out, and he claims to wake up with an ability. I thought the arrow bounced off of him, or is that it an did? Thing? But it did cut him in the neck, and Josuke no Kiyasu find him in a crop circle. And and he goes, I was I got a prick on the neck and I passed out and I woke up eight hours later. And that's yeah, so alien confirmed, definitely. This the situation I've kind of thought up of is basically the same shit that happens in Persona 4 happens here. Adachi happens to get his power and accidentally pushes somebody into the TV. Hmm. I don't think it really super matters who it is, but like I don't know, I guess we could we could pick a person in Morio to have him throw in. Josuke's grandpa. <laughs> Where'd he throw in his grandpa? Uh, because he was giving him sass at the police station. Yeah, you know, okay, that makes sense. Since, okay, Adachi now works at Morio PD. <laughs> Fucking Josuke's grandpa was like, Adachi, you're worthless. We're sending you back to Inova. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're not. And he, ta he tosses him in the TV. And he just gives him a shove and he falls with the TV. He's like, I yeah. can do this. Wow, I can do this all the time. <laughs> wow, let me do it again. So he, he's got his first kill in. And that's a, that's a motivator for Josuke as well. To get mm -hmm. the ball rolling, yeah, it's a it's a it's a bit of an early one, but it is a motivation to uh, track down the killer. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna assume that like part four more or less plays out the same way because like I don't want to get into some weird situation where it's like, but what if they don't meet Rohan? It's like they everything pretty much happens the same way. Mm -hmm. It's just like when it, when Kira gets involved, yeah, things get weird. Yeah, like. Uh... <laughs> Wait, does this imply that Adachi also shoved Remy into the TV? <laughs> no, the timeline wouldn't add up, because Adachi would have been, like, 10 mm -hmm. when he would have done that. Hey, 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 he just broke it at 10 years old and was like, <laughs> Bitch, you're going, in, you're going in the CRT. Are <laughs> you CRT? Yeah. And then she put Rohan outside the window. He's like, there's a 10-year-old in here. He's throwing a tantrum. There's <laughs> a violent 10-year-old. Remy was like 16 at the time too. Touch <laughs> <laughs> the dog for good measure. That was a rascally dog. I'm gonna be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my resume. I gotta be a police officer in the future. <laughs> Fifteen years from now. <laughs> oh, okay, wait a minute. I'm done trying to do the math to see how old he would be. <laughs> Because you can't have Adachi be older than he was in Persona 4. That's just crazy. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, yeah, if, no, no. if Adachi was older and wiser, oh, that's a, they stand no chance against an older, wiser Adachi. <laughs> More experienced Adachi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Persona 4 takes place in, like, 2011, so this is even more fucked up timeline. Well, it was, it's, it's, just a, it's just a quantum Adachi. Yeah, <laughs> Quantum Adachi. Quantum, Quantum Adachi. Adachi. Oh my god, he killed her out of the womb! He was, <laughs> he was not even a year old! He, fuck, he fucking aborted. <laughs> Motherfucker popped out of the womb and started choking Remy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Adachi was born the year that Remy died. <laughs> oh shit, probably not a coincidence. Mm. Yeah, because mm. Snowboard did heal. Mm. My god, he's, he's had blood on his hands since he was a baby. <laughs> but okay, but yeah, uh, Adachi, same, same, same age he is in Persona 4 at the time of Part 4. He yeah. just drove by. He drove by Inaba on his way to to Morio. Uh, shook shook a hand. <laughs> yeah, he, he, when he was leaving, he met Izanami. He's like, "I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya." No wait, you're no, you're supposed to stay. And oh, oh, oh fuck. no, oh, fuck. I just screwed up. Ah oh, shit! Why did I think about this situation? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, I gave it to a politician as well. Fuck, he's gonna leave too. <laughs> I did not think about this. Okay, what methods would the would the Morio gang have to try to track down Adachi? Okay, so one of the big advantages I think, just in terms of the like mystery solving, is that the Morio gang is kind of busted when it comes to just like tr mystery solving abilities, whereas the investigation team is kind of stupid. They got they got Teddy. And, investigation team has Teddy and Rise. Granted, uh, Morio gang doesn't have anything like that. They don't have no have a dedicated searcher. And they I, do have this this man named Rohan Kishibe, who's who has this ability called Heaven's Door, mm -hmm. which is busted for in information gathering. Yeah, and he's in absolutely no danger of. <laughs> Can of, you imagine if Dachi breaks in and tries to beat up Rohan? <laughs> Does Rohan yeah. watch TV? Probably not. I don't think he owns a TV. Okay, so so <laughs> <laughs> he's safe. Dashi somehow manages to shove him into the manga. <laughs> he brings a TV with him. Uh, but yeah, so Rohan has really good information gathering skills, even outside of Heaven's Door. Like, he was doing, like, photo analysis of people at certain places, and he, and he puts together that there was, like, a kid who was stalking his father, and he was like, I'm going to investigate that, because that seems yeah, strange. He, he's kind of the one who solves that whole mystery. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we also have Joseph. Mm-hmm. If he is, uh, if we're including him, uh, we can do the thing that everyone wanted, where you could uh, use have Joseph use Hermit Purple to try to find him, and then have that fail, like it probably would have. <laughs> no one else is really investigation like heavy. If Yuya was around, all they'd have to do is get like, if Adachi touched the person when he shoved them into the TV, and the body appeared in Morio, then he would, then Yuya could probably track him by the scent on the person's body. You mm -hmm. think the smell would still be there after all that time? I mean, it depends. It's, it's just a little tap, and you're in that TV. Would would this would the would would the shadow smell be on them? <laughs> I mean, do they go to the shadow world? Yeah, yeah, they go into the shadow world, and t after Wait, like, how do they know it exists? Uh, Rohan figures it out. He uh, <laughs> he opens up uh, someone who went. Oh shit! No, if a person die, if they get to the person before they die too quickly, we we mm -hmm. can make that a plot point, right? Rohan is able to read something strange off their body before the the pages vanish. Oh, does it work that way? Yes. Don't if someone they, they if to... someone dies, they your pages slowly start to fade away. But don't don't you don't they need to like look? I mean, if they look saw the... the TV world, do they need to look at his manga or look at the no. symbol? Okay. Not if he uh, not if he uses Heaven's Door directly on their body. Right. What yeah, if we ahead. replace Rumi with someone that Adachi killed? Mm -hmm. leading up to this so that we have a ghost that then can give us the lead into the plot because that's how they do it with Kira. <laughs> however, uh, however, the person who the ghost happens to be Yukiko and uh, Yukiko just completely neglects uh, <laughs> the name or face or general shape of Yukiko, her Yukiko, do you know what happened to you? No. Are, are no, you sure? No. I like... wasn't paying attention at the time. <laughs> Is there anyone who doesn't like you? Not at all. It's probably an accident. <laughs> See, heaven store directly on the body. That that's a risky that's some risky business cuz he need to they need to both figure out when the bodies appear <laughs> as well as uh get there before anyone else. Yeah, they would have to excitedly run towards a body whenever like they find out somebody's just popped up dead Rohan and hope it Hope it's somebody actually related to Adachi. Oh my this god, is, that... this is spider licking, manga drawing, page stealing, psychopathic manga Rohan Kashibe. You don't think he excitedly bolts at, a, at the sight of a dead <laughs> okay, body? Okay, okay, okay. Here's the here's the scenario I have in my head now. It is 11 p.m. 
the Morio gang all have their their little clamshell phones, or they're all by a payphone, looking at a telephone wire overhead as the clock starts to strike midnight. Rohan is accompanied by our alien friend boy, who's ready to turn into Nike's on command. <laughs> so because they're not getting body one, hell, they're not even getting body two, but body three. Yeah, body three. They like the t. Everyone's like gathered. Or everyone's like looking at their own like street corner, looking at the telephone wires. There, Rowan's accompanied with the aliens. So that way, he has a speed boost. And then, like second, the bot the body spawns in. Josuke like runs to the payphone. Is like Ro Rohan. He's the he's on the corner. By cover you. I wonder if they would assume this is something having to do with Akira, because that's the exact same way that Okiyasu's brother ended up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe yeah, they, they, they started they, interrogating Akira, and he's like, I don't know, I don't know, dude. I was I just know, trying dude, to my look stand cool. Is, like retarded now, bro. I was just trying to look cool, <laughs> trying to promote my. I was trying to use this to promote my. Album. <laughs> I was using murder to promote my sound. Hey, can you get Okiyasu's permission to use his bo his brother's corpse on my next album cover? <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty rad, dude. But uh. Yeah, I could definitely see something kind of... If we're going to progress the plot in a similar way to get the crew together, I can see the Morio gang going at a very less moral approach to the body, especially with Rohan being amongst their mitts, because yeah. I don't think he has the same human decency, especially since he used his stand to start reading a girl's measurements when he first met her. <laughs> so, so when someone's in the TV, and they, they come out, and everyone's like, gathered around. Rohan bolts over to the body, trying to get there as fast as possible, using the fucking boost. He opens it up, and uh, he manages to find out that uh, they were interacting with a cop by the name of uh, Toru Adachi. Toru Adachi. And then this is... Now they have to find this guy. Because, like, let's... The, let, they probably never interacted before. Granted, no, Morio's a pretty big place. Like, it's and definitely bigger than Inaba. You can't, just, you can't just stroll up and be like, Toro Odachi's a murderer. Because mm -hmm. then, you can put on his hit list, and you have no real evidence to back it up. Yeah. You can't present your stand book. Yeah. So now that they've probably figured it out, I can even imagine Rohan would rip that page out, because that page then becomes itself permanent. Mm -hmm. So they always have who the killer is, and now they need to try to track him down and stop him before he gets his next kill in. Yeah. I don't I think that they can definitely get there beforehand. Cause I don't think Adachi Adachi's method of killing was really just toss and forget. Because he didn't believe anyone would be able to like match would be able to solve those kinds that kind of killing. Easy evidence. It's self disposing evidence. If Adachi were aware of other stand users, though... Oh, uh, like, I guess it would depend on how long he's been in town for. Because mm -hmm. you'd have to run into one of them at some point. Yeah. Would he be able to instantly tell that they were stand users? Would he be doing the same thing he's doing in 4, where he's kind of, like, strolling up and being like, Hey guys, what are you guys up to? <laughs> Is he friends with the gang? Like, are, are the gang interrogating him to try to find out shit, not realizing he's the one who did it? Uh, he could, man. If, if we go by like he knew uh, Josuke's grandpa, like that could be that could be Dachi's like in with the group. Oh man, he's been like the the supportive friend. Mm -hmm. It's just like I was just trying to get some cheap head. Your mom's kind of hot. Your mom's hot, Josuke. <laughs> and Okuyasu's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Josuke. Oh, Josuke, I told you. But yeah, I could totally see him. Like, trying to use the death of someone else's loved one as an in for, for like, quick sex? Yeah! Man, that one day where Adachi is, like, bringing home his cabbages and a fucking cat plant shot... <laughs> shot his groceries. And then he just pulled out his cat and killed him. Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's an affront to God! Bang, bang, bang! My cat is a Naki. And just zaps the cat. It just zaps stray cat, <laughs> and then just continues on walking. Yeah, he has to go back to the, has to go back to the store to buy more groceries. I think Adachi is a lot a lot more careless with things. And if you did find out that he was like there onto him, he just escaped into the TV. First things first, if he was found out. Yeah, and I like, don't. I I can't imagine he like instinctively knows that they're onto him. 
Yeah. Because I would imagine, assuming Rohan's like, okay, it's this guy, they would probably all gang up and confront him together. Yeah. At that point, Adachi reveals that it's been the TV the whole time. The TV's killing people, not me. It's not me. I'm innocent. Depending on how cornered he is, this could go uh, one of two ways. One, he doesn't even make it into the TV, and he has to just, like, fight, like, in a more fair uh, arena. Well, well, he could have one out if they stop him before he gets into a TV, uh, is to throw one of them in and be like, yeah, try to figure that out, bye. <laughs> yeah, go get your friend. Like, what happens in Persona 4 is the team confronts him and he's like, I gotta go, and then he runs out. <laughs> but I, I can't imagine with Josuke, Okuyasu, Koichi, Rohan, and Jotaro all right there, he can get away. Because mm -hmm. Josuke's just going to go crazy diamond, break his fucking leg, and go, all right, if you're not the guy, I'll just fix you. Like, then what's he going to do? If we say Adachi can use his uh, persona outside of the TV, like, he could just fucking you bring down, like, God's lightning with Maziodine or whatever. Uh, big lightning has been shown to be very effective at... <laughs> Uh, dealing with JoJo characters? <laughs> yeah. That does raise a good question. How strong is Adachi's attacks in comparison? Let's uh, pull up uh, Magatsu Izanagi on the Megami Tensei wiki to see what Magatsu Izanagi is generally capable of. Uh, Adam, let's see, Adam Smasher, Maziodine, Ghastly Whale, Megarodine, Megidoloan, Power Charge, Heat Riser, and Vorpal Blade. So Big Wind, uh, Big Lightning, Big Almighty, Big Boom, and Big Hit. Okay, so yeah, he's, he's definitely nothing to fuck with. He's definitely nothing to fuck with. Adachi create... Uh, Megadalon would create an explosion at a point, rather than turning something into, like, an explosive. So I think that's less lethal than what uh, Kira does. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah. Sh uh, Shigechi still dies by being Megi Dolan, though. Yeah, Shigechi, Shigechi is, like... Maybe that's who Adachi just throws into the TV to, like, buy him some time. You think he'd be able to lift him in there? <laughs> we just boot him in there. <laughs> but the concept that Adachi is having trouble lifting a, four like a 15, 14 year old child is really funny. <laughs> God damn it, what, what the what fuck have you been eating? <laughs> My mommy says I'm a grown boy. <laughs> Stop. I think there's a genuine possibility that at some point, Adachi just, like, says something out of turn around Yukako, and he ends up just dying. He just ends up being murdered himself. I think <laughs> that's a genuine possibility. It just turns into that CG from fucking Arena where Sho's beating the shit out of Adachi, but it's Yukako. <laughs> Except for he's way less smug than this. I think that's a genuine possibility that we can't overlook. Hey, There's a lot of Ditch people... Ditch the shorty and get with <laughs> That public display of affection fucking sickened me. <laughs> yeah, he, he might he might run afoul with one of... Or just mocking Josuke's haircut. Like, if... And Adachi messes with, like, any one of these stand users. Because stand <laughs> users are very quick to just be like, the fuck did you just say? Just da -da -da. That's actually very in character for Adachi because it's pretty consistently shown that the way Adachi fights is he fucks with people and provokes them, and then they do stupid shit that he capitalizes on. Mm -hmm. But, like, that that's not a good idea when you're dealing with, like, Josuke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that works when you're dealing with people who you have either, like, an advantage over mentally or like some sort of a higher ground to stand on like josuke is not a moral is that like a moral crusader he's not someone who's like i'm gonna feel bad if i beat the shit out of you because he'll just fix you afterwards if he does so yeah that's i feel like adachi might just say the wrong thing to josuke and get his ass pounded <laughs> Like, how many stand users in part 4 would just beat the shit out of you for looking at them the wrong way? <laughs> Though, one person I know for a fact Adachi can beat is, mm -hmm. uh, is fucking the, the lock. I don't think, I don't think that guy's getting yeah, anything. He wouldn't feel bad about anything. <laughs> I think the lock happens and Adachi's just like, nah, I'm gonna go, bye. 
if heart damn if, uh, cat shouldn't have been in the row <laughs> but uh yeah i think shigechi like if if shigechi found out the dashi could be fucked because <laughs> he just goes straight for the fucking neck that is true but how fast is Magato Izanami or Izanagi? Izanagi? He's decently fast. Like he keeps up with Izanagi in the anime and stuff. He's decently so, fast, but and he does have good range. He's, he's not as fast as like Star Platinum. Yeah. yeah, he's like he's not gonna outpace like Josuke in a fist fight, but like I, I assume that he could probably cut down uh Shigechi. Shige but that would be a very like the reason why Adachi would be throwing people into the TV instead of just causing lightning to come down on them or something is because that's very messy. I feel like the way that up. would the way that would probably play out is that Adachi would say some shit and then Shigechi thinking that he has the advantage over this like this bully uses uh uses his fucking oh my god I forgot their name. Harvest. Oh. Harvest to like climb on and start like fucking with Adachi, not knowing that Adachi can see them. Adachi accidentally reveals that he can see them, and then, to cover it up, he just, uh, Megi Dolan's Shigechi right there. Which would leave I... his body out in the open, and maybe he holds on in long enough for Rohan to... <laughs> to, like, space jab reach his arms out for a corpse. <laughs> and that's how we can lead into that. Yeah. Adachi has the advantage of people maybe not realizing that he knows what they know. And he has a gun. Yeah, Adachi That's does have right, a gun. He does have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and guns are dangerous in JoJo, unless it's part five. In fact, I'm actually now trying to remember any point where a gun was fatal. In Adachi's boss fight in Persona 4, uh, he has... Uh, Magatsu Izanagi has a few more abilities, including Foolish Whisper, which can silence all foes, and Evil Smile, which instills fear in all foes. And I think those two could be enough to, like, ward off particular people, but they would definitely tell someone. Oh, yeah. I think that could cause, that could buy him time to not get necked by Harvest in an embarrassing <laughs> way. Yeah, I think he has he has outs for a lot of the situations he puts himself in. Like, Josuke could beat the shit out of him, and as long as he keeps quiet, which could get brought up, like, maybe Josuke does it early on, but, like, not to, a, like, a significant degree. Mm -hmm. Adachi remembers that he gets fixed, and that's how they do, like, the Kira reveal later, mm -hmm. is Adachi gets, uh, like, injured in a fight, and just like how Kira's like, what? Quickly, fix me! And Josuke's like, what do you mean, fix you? I'm a teenager. Uh, do I look like a paramedic? Oh shit, I blew that I knew what stands are. Yeah, that's a very Adachi thing. <laughs> I think they have a high chance of figuring things out and getting the ball rolling pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, figuring things out is pretty easy. I think, like, finding out who Adachi is is, like, pretty simple. But if, if this sneaky fucker gets into the TV, that's a problem. Yeah, because I, like, what the fuck is, like, even if Rohan was all like, Josuke can enter the TV? <laughs> Does he just... <laughs> Try that and shrug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what if they go to Adachi's residence and get a piece of his like his everyday his everyday apparel, and then Josuke pulls him out of the TV using Crazy Diamond? Wouldn't work because that's not part of Adachi. Adachi Adachi isn't his uh, Adachi isn't his collection of red ties. <laughs> okay, but. What if it pulls him forward a bit, but isn't enough to pull him out? And they grab onto him and they go into the TV world. I don't think he would be standing right in front of the TV like that. Yeah, he'd be isolated. He'd be practicing Okay, but we don't know where we don't know where he would go because we only know where one TV exit is. <laughs> we don't know where he might walk by a TV entrance or a TV exit. We don't know. Persona Four is weird with that. Are are there natural TV exits? We only know about the one. Teddy made that one. Did he make that one? I thought that one was- he just brought it down. Nope. He made that one. Is it say that he made it? He, he pounded his foot and it poofed out. Well, it falls from the ceiling. Which I just assumed is where they entered from. Hmm. Because they entered from the roof, fell, and landed on their asses. And okay, then but if, the a TV, if a TV fell, like, would that break? Okay, are we- we don't know how the TVs are in the TV world, and if the- and if the TV breaks, does that matter? I feel like there's a genuine possibility that if Adachi jumped into a TV, Okuyasu thinking, I got you now, dumbass! I got you, boom! 
It just <laughs> flumps the TV right there. Did I get him? Hey, Josuke, I got him! Then, then like, the, the foggy day comes. They're expecting to see a dead Adachi body. Nothing happens. Izanami's back in Inaba, wondering what the fuck is going on. <laughs> what? Yeah, what if Adachi popped out in Inaba? <laughs> like, he just, he just <laughs> fast Mission accomplished! I'm gonna live in Inaba from now on! I'm safe, they won't find me! If Adachi gets into the TV, it's kind of game over, because I don't think they would... Like, if we count going into the TV as just a... is a pow stand power that Adachi has, that's his ability. Mm -hmm. Then they can't replicate that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anybody in Morio who could get in there, but I really can't. Okay. Uh, I now need to remember there is a possibility, because yeah. he would have a stand... You could have Hazamata use Surface to recreate Adachi. Ooh. Wouldn't he have to touch no, the wait. doll, though? No, sorry. The one issue is to make the the person they make a copy makes... Wait. Moreover, if Surface is... Surface and the person... Oh, no, that's a, that's an if. Mannequin can, can copy someone's appearance. And if it makes eye contact with the person, it can then manipulate them. I don't know if that would work, but it's, it's a possibility that they could have is... He only needs to know what Adachi looks like to make the copy of him. Yeah. But even then, I don't think he would be able to get in there, because thats it's just his appearance. It doesn't copy, like, stands. It doesn't copy stands, but are we using stands as a reference point for getting into the TV? Um, I was. I mean, I was just... Adachi can only get in there because he touched, like, Izanami gave him the gift or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's something that would transfer over to a copy, that, that seems like something that's more an aspect of his soul than anything. Mm -hmm. Now, don't, uh, once people unlock their persona, can't they also enter the TV at will then? Yeah, but they've also been in the TV. Like, getting into the TV is kind of a, kind of a big obstacle. Like, even if they can't get in, eventually Adachi is gonna have to come out. Cause I'm pretty sure he would still get hungry in there, wouldn't he? Can we eat shadows? Are you able to eat uh, human desires? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that would provide any nutrition. And does he have to come out specifically from there? Is the question. Well, we'll say I'm like sure he, could, he could find an exit. Assuming Okuyasu blew up that one, then I don't know. Even if they didn't, I feel like they would still have somebody monitoring that TV just in case somebody comes back. Yeah, Adachi does just have like a every good, now and again. He has a good out switch, like at any point. But if he does come back out. He's only wanted by those specific people. Like, they're not yeah. going to go to the cops and be like, Hey, uh, did you know Adachi did those murders with no evidence? Yeah. Jo oh, that, that, that said, Jotaro could, like, bring the Speedwagon Foundation hammer down. Aw, oh, fuck, man. No, that's how they get into the TV. The Speedwagon Foundation just shows up with, like, This is a ray gun that allows you to enter the TV world. <laughs> <laughs> we developed it after uh, such and such incident in this place. Is there a stand in another part that we can use? Oh man, um... I now need to think if there's anyone even capable of approaching this. Moody Blues would have been helpful like seven days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Moody Blues does copy a lot of the users, like, everything about them. And it doesn't matter how long ago that person did anything. And Abakio <laughs> is a cop. Jotaro rings up the phone and we're bringing in part 5 characters to solve this part 4 what a <laughs> scenario Jotaro rings up the phone calls the speed wagon foundation no he hasn't been to Italy yet like <laughs> so at first it seems like they, the Morio King has absolutely fucking failed Jotaro's like I guess I'll just have to continue with my, my trek to Italy <laughs> To figure out what's happening. So I guess I this. gotta go look into Dio's son now. Koichi, you need to go to Italy. Oh, but what about the murderer? <laughs> no. Shut up. It, it, it doesn't they, matter. They find, <laughs> they find. They find him. They find him. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Miki Taka can just turn into a TV that they can enter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's 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 also option. Uh, Cherry Requiem. Okay. You are asking for a lot now. <laughs> you are going with the biggest gamble. A lot has to happen for this to work. 
<laughs> but I am assuming you are suggesting that we use Chariot Requiem to pull Adachi's soul out of the team. Who does soul even go to? Because there's nobody in there. <laughs> Probably the closest person to his nearest TV exit. Uh, yeah, I guess. But then they would have to know where in the TV world he is and, like, that's fix what, themselves that's what, toward... that's what you use Crazy Diamond on Adachi's tie and follow the tie as it rubs across TVs. <laughs> Chariot Rack. All right, now, I don't know about you, but I think Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap could get the, do the job done. Okay, but <laughs> get in contact with this universe's funny valentine. <laughs> you are not just suggesting getting in contact with this universe's funny valentine. You are this suggesting universe... raiding an old person's folk home <laughs> for a well over a hundred year old man. <laughs> hoping that he unlocked the stand. I'm just saying that this is JoJo's bizarre adventure. There's some weird shit happened. It's, funny it's, valentine. it's possible that We're funny valentine. We're in 1999. <laughs> Funny Valentine was born in 1847. <laughs> oh, this is 150 I'm I'm just saying, if he has a corpse part or two, maybe he's he ages a little bit better. It seems possible. <laughs> this 150 year old man will solve a murder case in Japan. It's fine. It's it's just 150 it years and in and a different universe. It's it's. He's a he's a fucking. He's a fucking raisin of a person. <laughs> he looks like that, that fucking shrimp from Spongebob who's like, chocolate. It's just like, we found the man who will help us. He's an American former president. He looks like this. Yari, yari. Alright, what can your stand do? Go between parallel universes. How will that help us here? Uh... <laughs> Joseph looks like dog shit. And how old is he at this point? Like 70 something. Okay, so add 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like 70, add 80 more years onto that. You got like dudes walking with like eight canes. Dirty Deeds is keeping him up. He's holding desperately onto life. I will make America great again. You gotta help us find a murderer in Japan. Damn you. Damn Japanese. Yeah, this is a funny Valentine who's seen World War One, World War Two, and the Civil War. <laughs> this is the biggest leap. I think we got so, it. I think they got this in the back. Yeah. Our our outs our outs are chariot RNG. A 150 year old patriot. chariot RNG sounds like a speedrun strat. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, welcome to my uh, part five speed run. Today we're gonna be doing we're gonna be using some chariot RNG. <laughs> New strat. You see, uh, within frame one of using chariot requiem, uh, Polnareff can take the arrow away. Actually, <laughs> this allows you to manipulate the RNG. You'd have to convince him. No, wait, he travels through electricity. I don't know if he could enter the TV world. It was like uh, red hot uh, chili pepper might be able to do it because he can turn you into TV waves. <laughs> okay. okay, hear me out. <laughs> yes. Okay. We go to Cinderella. And we ask, I want to be Toru Adachi. <laughs> no, it would not Give me that kind of face. Wouldn't, wouldn't she need his, like, face? No, no. I just want to be him. They could. She could possibly copy Adachi's appearances. She could make uh, a different set of, like, uh, face and approaches to uh, finger or finger point. Fingerprints? <laughs> So Remember, it's possible that Cinderella she can... can alter alter fate. <laughs> so we Oh, can... I want to love Toro Adachi. <laughs> yes. That brings him out. He sees. Wow, that bitch is smoking. I'm gonna <laughs> go check her out. Okay, okay. We get we get we get our I want to love Toro Adachi makeover. <laughs> then we have Jos old Joseph use Herma Purple on the TV to make the face appear on both ends. <laughs> My god, she's beautiful. Wow, and I'm hungry. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll hop out. <laughs> Alright, get his ass. <laughs> but you see, what we don't know is the character actually falls for Adachi. Oh no. Oh, oh no, and the what will they do when the romance blooms? 
<laughs> oh no! Oh, he's dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> how can the how can the Mario gang travel to parallel universes? <laughs> It's so funny how easy it is to find him, but the second he slips into the TV, this becomes like, we need to get Funny Valentine levels of impossible. We need to get Funny Valentine, manipulate Chariot RNG Requiem, or just kind of hope using fate. <laughs> it's just dependent on if Adachi needs to leave. It's either that or they have to bait him out. <laughs> and what can they really do? I got this. <laughs> like, like, do they just get like Yukako with a with the I wanna love Toru Dashi makeover just to like pose holding a delicious plate of spaghetti? No, two cabbages. Like two like a nice look. Two cabbages cabbage over top her uh she's topless holding two cabbages in front. No, no, no. We we gotta make the super appetizing cabbages. Tonio himself prepared them. <laughs> Adachi, we forgive you, come out. <laughs> We got you a hot GF and ca and delicious cabbage. Don't worry, this ha attempted murder happens all the time here. Come on out. <laughs> I'll believe you just this once. <laughs> no funny business. I'm coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the Joe's game. What's what's fucked is I think Highway Star <clears throat> could actually stop Adachi from getting into the TV if he were a thing. Yeah, because that's how we dealed with Enigma. Yeah, I guess like. They had no in for Enigma. Uh, what if uh, when Adachi comes out, the jo or jo Josuke God, beats him so hard that he breaks him and then fuses him with a TV like he did with The Rock? <laughs> that'd be <laughs> awesome! And that's how they beat him. He's forever trapped in a TV. You thought a TV would be your out, but now it's your prison. Luring Adachi to a place where he wouldn't have an out, I don't think Adachi would fall for that. So they need to, like, lure him out... Get him a far enough distance away from the TV that... Well, actually, wait, they have... They, they just need to get him out of the TV. The Jotaro stops time and just fucking yeets him into the crowd. Puts him into a fucking headlock and drags him over. Gotcha. All right, everyone. Get your punch in. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> or if we want to do so, uh, uh, an a interesting climax... Yeah. Or you have Adachi 1v1 one of the characters leading up to the event where he gets away. Mm -hmm. What if while he's running, he sees them and he's just like, you'll never be able to catch me in the TV world. And before he gets into the TV fully, Jotaro freezes time and chucks Koichi at him. And then Koichi, since he's holding on to Adachi, would go with him into the TV world. Yeah. I could also... Jotaro, if he's there, could just like... Flick a fucking marble into the TV. If you break the screen of the TV before someone's fully through, what happened? I, I they probably just get cut in half. Like, oh, the, the, there are so many questions that have been raised with this 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 idea. I don't think they're fighting him in the TV. I don't think they can get enough people in at the same time for that. Yeah, at most they could like get one in there. He's the easiest to throw. Koichi is the most yeetable. But does that make it so that you can attach Koichi to someone else and yeet them? Koichi <laughs> acts like a backpack. Koichi, Koichi's yeeted into the TV, Yukako attached some of her hairs to him, and she drags herself along for the ride. The rest of the, the gang just grabs onto Yukako as she's dragged in. I'm just picturing like a daisy chain of more of fucking Morio characters just all hanging on trying to get in the TV like a fucking caterpillar. What a what a what a versus battle. <laughs> what a battle. What a battle of the Morio gang feature featuring Ponderap Funny Valentine Abaccio. <laughs> the actual fight is so easy. Adachi stands no chance against any of these guys. <laughs> he gets in the TV. It's like, oh fuck. Fuck, now we need to fight it into the TV. Like, the only people I think Adachi could beat in a in a fight would be, like, Rohan or Yukako, and that's if Adachi gets the first move and just nukes them with lightning. <laughs> they, uh, Adachi then looks up, or Adachi gets to the TV, they go to his apartment, and Rohan uses Heaven's Door on one of his ties, given, him to, given to him by Rotaro Dojima. Hmm. <laughs> then they all go to Inaba, get the magic power to the TV. <laughs> Josuke shakes Izanami's hand. He's like, Greato! <laughs> Izanami mocks his haircut. <laughs> Your haircut comes from my, comes from even before my age. That's a 
That's a strong hair taunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Adachi gets to the TV, it's it's a complex, like, Root Goldberg machine of <laughs> solutions. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, if he gets caught and has no exit, I think the, the Morio gang has him dead to rights, and they'll mm -hmm. probably figure out the mystery faster. So I think that's, uh, that, that's, that's the end for that. Yeah. Yep. This is the best yeah. we can manage. <laughs> yeah, I got like, I guess they win. They, they, I, they either win or Dachi, like, wins via timeout. 